and I'm here with the international representative of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, Brother Akbar Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Assalamu alaikum, salam. It was a leadership conference that the minister was invited to speak to a group of really 316 promising leaders, young black uh, men and women who have promise in leadership. They screened them and brought them in from the Philadelphia area and the surrounding area, Jersey, South Jersey. And uh, I opened up the conference uh, with a brief overview of the Million Man March and then the importance of putting some focus on our young people. Yes. That we can't get so busy, we leave them because they represent, as I said in my speech, there's two Arabic words that are my favorite words, is Muqthakbo, uh, which means the future, and Mumtaz, meaning excellent. And we must encourage our children in excellence, and we must prepare because they are our future. So that was the first session, and the minister really laid that session out with the question and answers from the young people. And to give a, uh, I wrote down 19 points that he made on what leadership represents. You know, one, leaders can't lie. Leaders can't be liars. Leaders have to be people of truth. And, uh, I mean, he laid out so many principles on leadership. Um, then we had the, uh, the um, Secret Relations Conference that yes. was outstanding. Right. Out, um, unbelievable. Jackie uh, Muhammad from Atlanta, Georgia, did an excellent job in chairing it. Uh, the input of uh, Dr. Uh, Leonard Jeffries and Professor Griff was just unbelievable. I, I was able to be there and actually tape uh, that. It was uh, it was powerful. For the energy uh, was incredible. And then we had the film on black radio, which is very important. With all of the blog shows on, especially with members of the Nation of Islam and the greater black community, but we must uh, unify our direction in black blog radio and in broadcast radio especially talk shows. Uh, we must uh, critique certain directions of people who have talk shows but talk about foolishness, talk about drama, you know, drama queens and others. We must now look at it in such a way that we use talk radio not to educate people about what they're going through in their personal affairs, whether they pay their rent, whether they're taking care of their babies and whatnot. Uh, but, and what man I met last night, mm -hmm. but what's happening in the world and the things that are important for our survival in America. So in order for that to happen with talk radio shows and blog radio, then we must come together and, as the right wing have come together and they have an agenda, mm -hmm. they have a point of view and they share it with each other and that point of view is scattered uh, throughout them, uh, whatever network they use, but when you listen to them, it seems like they're on message, all of them. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't happen in a vacuum. That doesn't happen through osmosis. Mm -hmm. But it happens because they plan it. Now, if you, if you would like, uh, can you share some of your um, understanding on the, uh, what's going on in Africa with uh, Libya, AFRICOM uh, moving in, and China also uh, being there? Right. Well, I'm going to start at the end, China. I'm not one who opposes China's involvement in Africa because in the days of the liberation struggle and Dr. Kwame Nkrumah opened the first uh, Chinese embassy in Ghana when Ghana became independent and in East Africa, in Tanzania and in Zimbabwe, the Chinese were involved in our early days before it was any trying to get the mineral riches and so forth. They were involved on a, 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 a political, philosophical level and the fact that this was a struggling mass of people on that continent who were coming from under the shackles of colonialism and they had some input. And the input was a challenge to whether capitalism or communism would dominate the uh, direction of newly formed societies. This is what it was about. And so China's involvement in Africa to me is healthy because again it strikes the balance against Europe and America's uh, involvement in Africa. Strictly um, economic gain and the things that they need for their society. In China, they will they say China is doing the same thing, but China is doing it from a, a different perspective, in my opinion. And plus, China is a country that emerged from under this um, colonial domination uh, of the Western world that got into China and divided their people. So I'm not unhappy. Uh, there's improprieties in everything that you do uh, politically. 
What's happening in Africa, Muammar Gaddafi's removal from power is definitely not because he was a dictator who was about to kill his people. Right. And people who are enlightened know much better than that. I just finished an article, the Gaddafi I know, that will be in our paper next week, the yeah. final call. And uh, it talks about, because the picture that is projected now to the Western world, that Gaddafi never did one thing of any good for his people or anyone else, and that is absolutely incorrect. I mean, we didn't say he was perfect. He's a human being, and all human beings are subject to uh, their faults, their you know shortcomings, their strong points. But Gaddafi, and if you put him on the scale, his good deeds for not only the Libyan people, but for the masses across the African continent and struggling people throughout the world would weigh better than all of the faults that they could find in Muammar Gaddafi. So his removal was, to me, to stop the movement of the African Union and the thrust and the money that he pumped into it to keep it going. And you'll watch now the African Union will start having trouble, I predict it. Right, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I want to uh, thank you for your brief time, uh, your, you know, because uh, I know that you're a very uh, busy individual. And if people want to contact you uh, for interviews, can you give them your contact information? Yes. You go to uh, africaandtheworld.info. Africa and the world, just spell it out, dot info. Okay. And uh, everything is on that site. Thank you, Brother Akbar. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. You too, brother.